Jay, beaten by the better side today? Um, yeah, on the scoreline, I, I can't, I can't defend the players today. Um, didn't, didn't do the basics well enough today to win a game of football. Um, if you're looking at chances, sort of both teams had chances. They were more clinical than us, but the chances, the, the four goals they scored, not taking anything away from Bracknell, were, were like really poor goals to concede from the off. We conceded a really sloppy goal. Um, Second one is again poor ball into our box, or well, a good ball into our box, but uh, defending is not good enough. And then we come out, we get ourselves back into it at 2 1. We come out second half, we actually started well, hit the crossbar when we got to take that chance. Dajon's got to score, doesn't, and they go up the other end and pull Mark in and they score. And um, and then you're chasing, you get yourself back in at 3 2, and the same thing happens. So we haven't done the basics well enough today, and whether that's the defensive side of it, which we which were shambles, the goals. Um, or whether it's just five yard passes were sloppy, um, too many off of it today, and that's the simple light. I give the boys all the credit they deserve. Last week you had probably one to eleven were, were outstanding last week, and then you really look in today how many were, were on their game today, and there wasn't enough of them. It can be fine margins, can't it? If that one that hit the crossbar goes in, does it become a different game then? Of course it does. Football's all all about that, but. We shouldn't score two. I keep saying it. We can't score. Have to score sort of three goals at home to win a game. But mm. we score two goals at home, it should be enough to win a game. And, and again, defensively today, we, we we started with a back four. We've gone to a back three, and there's just too many off of it. They won too many first and second balls against us, which is unlike us. And again, last week that wasn't the case. Um, so I can't I can't defend them. I'll always stick up for the boys, and and I'll always back them. There's not many games. I think you look at the Binfield game. You can actually say that, okay, you've got a bit of an excuse, we had nine players out, whatever it was. Mm -hmm. You look at today, and every single one of them players start today, would expect to start or want to be starting. I think they're good enough to. So it's probably the first defeat this season where I go, okay, it's tough to defend any of them really today. I think all the other games we kind of could have, could have gone either way, but um, today there was too many, um, too many off of it. Uh, and do the changes make a difference? Maybe, maybe it's. It's, again, you're bringing two new players into it, but that was needs must. So, but as I say, they all think they're good enough to, to be wearing the shirt. So it's tough for me to defend them today. We haven't done... In football, it's quite a simple game, really. If you do the basics well, if you run harder than the other team, nine times out of ten, you'll do OK. And today, today we didn't do that, both those things. It, it's difficult to reconcile, isn't it, after the highs of, of last Saturday? And, and, and then you have a performance like this. It's difficult to kind of understand it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's not because I've been in football a long time and I've seen it. So for me, it's not. I've seen it happen time and time again and as a player and as a manager. Um, what you do is you hope that when you're having bad spells in games is that the, there's players out there that will pull you through it and we do the basics well. And look, if you're, if you're not passing the ball well, which today we wasn't good enough on the ball and there's not been many times this season we haven't been. We've been in general decent and uh, taking things on ball. But if you're not, then you have to do the basics well and you have to defend well and go, OK, we're not quite on it, but we're not going to give anything away. And today we've we've given some goals away. And again, I don't want to take anything away from Bracknell because they've come here and done a job and I don't want to sound bitter, but you have to find ways of, OK, we're not at it, we're not our best. Um, I probably look at like a Dover away this season where we weren't at our best, but we found a way to win the game. We found a way not to lose the game. Even ch um, chipping them at home, I think it was, or in two or was it? Um, and... Uh, uh, Oxford, sorry, um, mm. and we're two 0 down. You find a way not to lose the game when we were actually playing quite well. So you have to find ways and solutions during the game, and not enough of them today have done that. And probably even some of the ones that have been really good this season and been really consistent were off it today. Sure. Um, one good piece of news: uh, James Taylor back yeah, yeah. playing on the pitch. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's listen, it's a, it's a bonus to have him back. It's probably again. If I'm really honest with you, he probably wouldn't have been involved today if we've had other bodies because he's 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 been thrown in. He's had sort of half a training session on Tuesday and then a training session Thursday, so he's probably not ready yet. Um, and I thought he looked a little bit rusty when he came on. To be fair, on the ball, but it's a bonus to have him back. But that's the way we are at the moment. We get one back and we seem to lose one. So really frustrating. Um, but again, I'm not by any stretch of imagination trying to blame anything for that. Got a, a, a tough game on on Tuesday away at Worthing. Um, any. Any uh, likelihood of players coming back for that, or we'll see. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, as I say, we'll find out about Craig on Monday. Uh, Garvey suspended, so um, okay. we'll have to look at it. And that was okay. what I say. We we need to bring Devonte in in that area with Faggy, Lofty, Santos, Ruben. 
Nathan Wood, Gardy, like there's a lot of bodies there out, and then, so we, when you when you run that list like that, it, 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 I think it shows everyone just how difficult it is. Yeah, look, I, I, don't, I don't want to be constantly bringing in players and changing things. I, I'd love. I don't think this season we've had the back to back same side, and I'd love to have that. And even from last week after a great performance, I'd love to have just gone. Go on, then same side out, same formation, but we haven't been able to do that. Um, Jordan come in, don't know on his debut because he, he don't really know anyone. I think Tariq's mm -hmm. the only one he knows. So mm -hmm. yeah, one training session with Thursday, so it's good for him to come and get two goals. He'll give us a different option, and he needs minutes. He's 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 not played for sort of three weeks, so it'll do him good getting ninety. But um, yeah, it's it's just not ideal that you keep changing. And and I'm hoping realistically everyone comes through today okay, and we can then assess things and look at Worthing or a good side having a good season. It's a really tough place to go. They're always better at home now or away, in general. Um, so yeah, we've just got to uh, got to see how all boys are and, and go from there. Sure. Thanks for your honesty, Jay. Thanks very much. Cheers, Thanks. Jim. Pleasure. Cheers. Thank you.